Hello everyone, welcome to this series of sessions on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. In this session, we will look at fleet management of databases across compartments. In the context of database groups, how do I execute SQL jobs across databases within a database group? My name is Sriram Runda. I am a product manager with the enterprise and cloud observability and management platform in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I am in the database management console in the context of database groups. We're looking at the UAT group that we created in our previous demo. Let me click on the UAT group. I have two managed databases, FinStage and HR UAT, spanning compartments UAT and DB management demo. And now I'm going to create a job which is a SQL job so that I could execute the same SQL against these two databases which are in my database group. I click on create job. So I have typed in the name, the description. The SQL type could be a query, DML, DDL or PL SQL. You have to choose a compartment where you create the job. Job is also a first class resource in OCI. You can define the timeout. This is going through the agent and hence the agent would allow you to define a timeout depending upon the prioritization tasks that it receives from other databases as well. You could define a timeout like one minute, 30 minutes or up to 24 hours. This is not at the database level, but the timeout is defined at, at the agent level. Now you specify the credentials for your connection. In this case, I've specified DBS and MP. We have to ensure that you have a common user that is there across these two databases because the purpose is to fire a common job so that we could get results out of the two databases that we are looking at. Now the results can be posted onto an Oracle object storage. In order to post these results, the management agent would need specific privileges on the bucket and the object that you're going to create. So you'll have to add specific dynamic group policies to the dynamic group where the agent belongs or the agent is matched to. Now I'll load the SQL from the desktop or I can type in my own SQL. So in this case, I have typed in a SQL which would run against these two databases because they are part of this database group called as UAT. So let me create the job. So the job release check has been successfully created. Currently it is going to the agent and getting executed within the database. We'll have to wait for a while until this completes. So the job is now in an inactive state. It is now complete. I can go and click on the job name and here you would see job executions. You will have executions against these two databases because we have fired the SQL against these two databases and you would see the duration, the status. It was a success. You could also hover over the SQL job to see the SQL uh, was fired and the username that was used to fire this particular SQL. Now, if I click on one of the executions, I would be able to see the job execution output and I can validate that from the other database as well. This concludes the demo for DB management use cases. Hope you enjoyed these sessions and you're on track now 